Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today um, to do this fun tag video with me. I actually saw this on um, the channel Love Meg and I love her videos. Um, I wish this was a collab or something but oh my goodness, dreams, right? But um, I actually saw this tag and I thought, oh, this would be really fun to do. Because I like tag videos. I feel like you get to know the person that you watch a little bit better um, when they answer just these like fun, random questions. So this tag is called the first time tag. And it might be what you're thinking. It might not be what you're thinking, but stay tuned. I looked up this tag and um, the questions that I looked up seem pretty much the same, so here we go. First app that you checked this morning. It's on my phone too, by the way. Uh, Facebook, because I don't know, I'm just a little obsessed. I'm trying to convert over to like Instagram, but I've been such a Facebook junkie for years and years that I'm sure you guys can understand. First broken bone. I broke this wrist, so my right wrist, when I was in preschool, I was four years old, and I was twisting like on a slide and I remember I fell and I actually fell on top of another kid, no joke. Um, but I ended up breaking my wrist and I had a cast that went up to here and my arm was like this. My cast was really big. I actually broke the same one when I was in seventh grade and the cast was really big again. So um, you know those people that break their wrist and they get this cute little small cast? Yeah, never happened to me foreign country that you ever visited. I visited Germany and I visited Jordan. Uh, I loved both of those places. Oh my gosh, like I would live in Jordan. I loved it so much. And um, I love international travel. It's, oh, I think everyone should international travel at least once in their life and I would like to do it a lot more in mine. First Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook post. And of course, there's my child, Let's see. First makeup. When I was in the seventh grade, my mom said that I could pick one thing for makeup and wear it, and then when I was in eighth grade, I could pick another thing. So my first thing I ever picked was lipstick, and I remember I used to buy the brightest, no joke, the brightest color lipstick. And if you notice, I don't have any lipstick or lip gloss on today, which is unlike me, but I'm kind of nursing a little bit of a cold sore that has almost gone away and I don't want to contaminate any of my lip gloss. So I haven't been wearing any for a couple days. I'm sure you guys understand. First plane ride. I was actually 16 the first time that I flew in a plane and I actually flew by myself. Um, I had gone to like a convention in Kansas City, Missouri and then I had rode back to Oklahoma with some of my girlfriends. I was in this organization called Job's Daughters. It's like a Masonic organization, kind of like a sorority. It's hard to explain, but um, it was amazing. And we drove back to Oklahoma with some girls I knew, and then I had to fly home, and I flew by myself for the very first time. So it was a little bit, I remember being super nervous, but I did it. The first time I ever got in trouble, at home or in school? I don't remember, honestly. I don't think I had ever really got in trouble at school, per se. I remember I was a little bit mouthy when I was a little kid, and I remember her kind of getting onto me about that. That I do remember being in like probably second grade, and her kind of getting in my face and telling me that I had to talk a certain way and act like properly. Um, I do remember that, but can't complain. That's what your parents are supposed to do, right? First time you were allowed to put makeup on, I was allowed when I started seventh grade to wear lipstick. Uh, first YouTuber you ever subscribed to? I subscribed to, I think the first one I actually watched for 
um, consistently was uh, BF versus GF and all their pranks. And that's kind of, and I watched their vlogs when they were still together. And I really enjoyed watching them and looked forward to watching them. And they kind of, um, kind of introduced me into the YouTube thing, the YouTube. First time you went shopping on your own. Probably when I moved away, I went shopping on my own and I remember I had a really hard time with it. I moved from California to North Carolina to marry my husband and I had always gone shopping with my mom even when I moved out of the house and I was like 20 and we would always meet up and go shopping. So it was really hard to go like clothes shopping and have nobody there to like tell you an opinion I guess you could say. And your husband is great but he kind of tells you that everything is fine and looks good, at least mine does. And um, he was actually deployed and I remember like almost crying in the dressing room because I just missed my mom and I was probably 21 or 22 at the time. I was probably 22 and I remember just being so jealous because this girl across the dressing room was shopping with her mom and they were shopping for like a dance and I just wanted to like tell them like you're so lucky. My first boyfriend. I had a lot of, when you're in like junior high and you say you're dating or you say you're going out I had a lot of those so I don't know if this is kind of like serious um, I dated a few people in high school um, but not for really any length of time I would kind of get scared and break up with people <laughs> or find reasons to break up with people or I it took me a really long time like not to be afraid um, to kind of let somebody in and like have kind of take those walls down so really serious boyfriend I had when I was about 18 and um, we dated for about a couple years and in between the like a breakup and such I met my husband and me and my husband knew each other for six months and then we got married so if you're talking about serious boyfriend that's how it went but I did date a few people here and there but I think maybe my longest relationship was a couple of months maybe three or four like I had to I had to do a lot of work on myself to kind of get over those barriers my first celebrity crush oh, I have to tell you guys um, do you remember the old-school movie Casper it was um, at the end of it Casper turns into a human and gets to dance for like a split second and Devin Sawa I think his name is was the Casper character and I really really had a crush on that kid I remember thinking that I guess he's like my age but I remember thinking he was just so cute and I was young in like sixth grade and fifth grade sixth grade and I remember thinking that was he was so cute so my first cooking experience they were none good they were none too good guys not good at all let me tell you um, I would try to make cookies and I would just take stuff out and not I'm like oh who wants baking soda in their cookies who wants salt like and my mom later on would just be like what <laughs> and she had to kind of explain to me you know why you put certain things in and oh it was just it was a learning experience I kind of had a love-hate relationship with cooking till a couple years ago probably I really never really liked to cook even when I became better at it and I understood more about cooking, I was still in my late 20s before I actually could say I enjoyed it. My first crush, I had a crush on a kid named Kyle who lived in the same like neighborhood. We all lived in like a circle neighborhood and um, he was on my brother's soccer team and we were like little, like, I don't know kindergarten first grade we were small and I remember I really liked him I was like oh he's so cute and I was little so my first ever boyfriend uh, was that was when I was in I was a sophomore going into my junior year so it was the end of my sophomore year of high school and I um, dated this guy named Josh and I dated him for a couple of months he was probably like my first serious boyfriend and I guess more of like why I would classify it as that was because we saw each other outside of school. 
So um, it was during the summer and we kind of stayed together, like we ended the school year and stayed together. And I saw him outside of school and I guess that's why I kind of classified him as like my first, um, I guess, serious one. And you always think like when you're going through that that you've had, oh, I've had tons of boyfriends, but I did have a lot, but not really a lot that I saw outside of school. So my first my first ever cell phone I actually got a cell phone my senior year of high school and it was the latter end of my senior year and so um, and I remember having to like ask one of my friends like how do you put numbers in here and it was back when like the Nokia's were like a big deal and stuff like that but mine was just a really cheap like whatever the free phone was that you could get mine was that and mine was actually my dad's hand me down. My first ever date, I would have to say, was probably like a kind of a dance thing. Um, I dated people and things like that, um, but a lot of people I dated, like we didn't have cars and I didn't have a car and I didn't have a car until quite a bit after high school too. So um, it was just hard to date, I guess you could say. So in my junior year, I think um, a lot of people were getting cars, and that's, um, I know for sure, when I would, um, I went out like, on my first like date with somebody in the car. My first ever kiss, ooh, that was probably, I think I was in, I think it was in seventh grade, I wanna say, but it was like the latter end of seventh grade, and yeah, it was actually just, it was kind of like outside my house. I lived in like a townhome and it was outside of that. And so I was just, um, it was it was cute though. It was just kind of very fast, but good. My first fear. I wasn't ever afraid of like a spider or this or that or being by myself or the dark or, I was never afraid of any of that. I was more, I was only ever afraid of like losing my mom or something like that. I was, um, I remember being in high school and being afraid that like something was gonna happen to her. Um, gosh, gosh, she did have health issues and I think when you're younger you don't understand really what all that means and I probably didn't have anything to worry about, but I was worried at the time and just without knowing. So that was really the only thing I remember being truly afraid of. My first internet activity, I do remember when AOL came out and I remember my friend, I didn't really know anything about the internet and she like showed me about chatting and stuff after school like in her room. So that was probably my first experience. It was just kind of friends teaching you because it was such new technology. My first job, um, I had a job taking care of a kid who was handicapped in a wheelchair and I would um, go home with him from school and I would just kind of like heat up food for him and just kind of hang out and make sure he was okay and um, if he needed anything. So he couldn't talk really well or anything but I would just you know, let him kind of play video games and stuff. And I really was only there for about an hour to an hour and a half by myself without, um, until, you know, his parents got home. So it was kind of this overlay. And then my other job in high school was um, when I was a senior in high school, I was a telemarketer. And I did that for a good majority of my senior year. And it was, interesting let me tell you <laughs> but it was fun I sold windshield replacement and repair and I think I was really actually good at it my first language is English as you can tell first pet was a cat her name was mama cat and she's a tabby cat and she had babies right after we got her and I was probably two or three and so we just called her mama cat and my first love I can honestly say that I did tell somebody else that I loved them, um, but when I met my husband, um, it was completely different, and I think that I did love this person, like I genuinely like, cared for them, but it was completely different when I met my husband, and I remember the first time that I kissed my husband, 
I just knew in my head like this was completely different than any other experience that I had. So really like the first love was my husband. So and we met when I was 21. My first piercing and where'd I get it? I got my ears pierced when I was in first grade, I think. Um, I had a kind of a shorter haircut and I remember thinking, like I remember telling my mom like, I wanted to look like a girl and I want my ears pierced so everybody knows I'm a girl. And she said, okay. And um, they took me down to the mall and got them done. My first tattoo, um, I did get a little star tattoo kind of lower on my belly. Um, and my mom has one and my brother has one. They're actually um, nautical stars, so they symbolize like a journey. And mine has a little bit of pink in it and um, they have different colors in theirs as well. But uh, that was my first experience and I was older when I did that, I wanna say 24. So um, I do have another one that's this one and it's my bestie wrote this and it's her handwriting and she actually has the same thing in my handwriting in the same place and it says I'm with you to the end of the line so it's that Captain America saying you know that I'm with you like you don't ever have to be alone like I'm with you my first thought today what do I need to do today my first time on a plane ship or train uh, I answered plane, ship, I remember going on a ferry, there's a ferry that goes from San Diego to Coronado Island, and I remember going on that when I was a little kid, um, prob well not a little kid, probably 6th grade-ish, and with um, one of my friend's parents. Uh, train, I remember going trains when I was really, really small, we had like train museum that was really close to my house, my dad used to volunteer there, so we would just go ride trains like normal and it was really fun like I remember having a, a very good time out there first online profile picture I will try to find one for you guys and um, put it in here I am NOT the best with like inserting and stuff like that I can edit but haven't learned all those ins and outs yet so I will show you but I know I want to say my first Facebook one was me and my son and he was about three months old and I was like holding him and I had dark hair, like dark chocolate, almost uh, black hair that had just dyed my hair. So um, it's interesting. I'll try to show you guys. My first toy, I actually had a Cabbage Patch doll named Elizabeth that I cherish, cherish, cherish. And I still have her. The first concert I ever attended, I went to a Backstreet Boys concert with a bunch of my girlfriends um, but we were only like her one of our friends had rented like a her, their parents had rented like a limo and um, we had all went there was a big group of us but I want to say we were in like ninth grade at the time so it was like kind of a big deal but it was more when like they were it wasn't super cool to say you were one of the Backstreet Boys so I went with a bunch of girls that they all went to a different school than I did so I was kind of embarrassed and I didn't really tell anyone that I did but um, I remember them being like so excited about it but it was really good it was really fun I know you read tons of books like in school but when I was in junior high I started reading um, this author that some a friend of mine had told me about in school and his name is Sidney Sheldon and he it's just a novel that he had written and I don't remember the name of it but it was about three women doctors and the novel was like really thick and after that throughout high school I remember reading all of his books and I've probably read them all now so and it was just kind of influential I liked the way he was I like the way he wrote and my first YouTube video. I actually have a vlog channel. We did our first video April 23rd, three years ago. My son had turned six and it was his sixth birthday. I actually watched it with him because it was his birthday yesterday. So we watched it and it was really fun. Uh, I, if for nothing else, like if I'm never successful at YouTube, which is not really my goal anyway, but I love the fact that I can capture all these memories and 
you know, maybe one day like my grandkids will watch this video and be like, oh, that's our grandma. Like that's what she thought about life and those were her firsts, you know. The first movie I ever remember seeing, I'm assuming that they're talking about like in theaters and we rented movies all the time when I was a little kid and I remember us putting blankets on the floor of the living room and laying with my dad and like we'd watch movies and I remember going to the video store. Um, I know that I went to Snow White in the theaters and I remember the theater before they had redone it and I want to say that's when I remember it. So it was when I was about three years old and I remember I wanted to like stand my mom was like, you need to sit down, and I wanted to like stand up. Um, I remember going and seeing Iron Will in the theaters, and but I was probably about eight at that time, and that's when I started like really seeing movies in the theaters kind of after that at that age. The first person I talked to today, I talked to my son Ryan because he's asleep right next to me. The first person that ever broke my heart, oh, when I was in high school, um, I met this boy through the Job's Daughters, um, and it was he was kind of like a friend of a friend. And um, I remember I never had a problem like dating boys or anything like that. Like it was almost like the opposite of problems, which sounds really weird, but that's a whole nother video. But I remember like a lot of people liked me. I remember like it, that part wasn't difficult. Um, it looking back it was it made it it was actually not a good thing and it was really difficult to deal with and um, but I remember I really liked this boy and he was kind of like I'm too busy I can't I can't date you I'm too busy and I would see him for like years here and there like we used to make out for fun like I mean I really liked him but he did not like me I don't, I don't know if he just didn't like me or he just couldn't, I think there was more going on and he couldn't really deal with life and stuff, but he did have a really busy schedule and he worked and it was heartbreaking though to have somebody kind of, that was the first time I felt really like rejected, like what, you don't want to, you don't want to date me, what, why, you know, and it was, it was heartbreaking, like Still to this day, like a little bit of that rejection is always in the back of your head anytime your heart is broken. So it's just unfortunate that you have to live with that kind of stuff, but it's truly humbling for me because up to that point, the boy thing had always been an easier thing to come by. And so it was really kind of a wake up call. And it was good that it happened to me, don't get me wrong. First thing I do every morning, I roll over and I find my phone because most of the time it's lost in my sheets or on my nightstand and I look to see what time it is. The first thing I do when I get home, I take my shoes off and most of the time I put on pajama pants. So if you stop by my house at any given time, a lot of times like I have my pajama pants on all the time. The first wedding I attended. I do remember attending this wedding and I think I was like going into ninth grade and their colors were red and I remember like all, it was just so pretty and um, I remember we drank uh, sparkling apple cider. There was no alcohol at this wedding or anything. It was really pretty and wow, I remember the bride, like her hair was really pretty and I didn't actually know her. It was like, um, the pastor's oldest daughter and so I had seen her but I was so young that we didn't have a lot of like interaction so I knew who she was and she was beautiful like oh let me tell you so it was almost like this honor to like sit there and watch this and her husband oh her husband was like crying during the ceremony and I just remember like my heart melting as this like young person just your husband cries you know when did you go to your first party? I do remember though, we used to call them kickbacks. And it was mostly like you just invited a bunch of people to your house and everybody just kind of hung out and kicked back. And we would call them kickbacks. I don't know if that was a thing anywhere else, but um, I remember going to a few of those. So um, 
like probably like 16 like my junior year I really started like kind of go out with without a lot of the supervision that I was kind of used to when did you have your first sleepover I actually when I was in first grade we had a big sleepover at my house I want to say for my birthday my mom invited all my friends over and we had a big sleepover and we had a really like long living room and I remember us all like sleeping and um stayed up late and I remember my mom like pushed the coffee table over and there was like all these snacks on the coffee table she made us all spaghetti and it was all of us girls and it was mostly girls from my brownie troop so first speeding ticket oh my first speeding ticket I think I got when I was about 19 I used to drive about 45 minutes away to go to work and I, I sped all the time. Like, I, till I was about 28, I drove really, like, fast. And then I ended up with numerous amounts of speeding tickets, and now I don't drive fast anymore because I just figured I've paid too much money. So, it doesn't really get you there that much faster. But I was, I was definitely, like, 19, and I definitely deserved it. And first person you text when something exciting happens. I always text my husband, always, always text my husband. Um, then I text my bestie and my mom, usually, and I don't like to hold things in. I like everybody to know and I like to tell everyone, so yeah. So that is it guys, those are some of my first. I know that probably wasn't exactly what you're expecting, but I thought it would just be fun to document it and helps you kind of get to know me a little bit better. And I just think tag videos are really fun. I think getting to know people who create content are, is really fun because we all have such a diverse story and diverse experiences growing up and different regions, different cultures. And I, I'm always just curious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and I'm trying to put out content as fast as I can get it made and I will see you guys again. Bye!